What's the tea, everybody? Hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ladiva Deluxe, Lada for short, or Elena Glaham, that's here on Mondays and Wednesdays. But today is Friday, that means Friday's a drag, and we're doing this look by Miss. Fierce Delicious from Drag Race Canada season 3. She was one of my favorites. I'm not gonna lie, I was rooting for her because, like, I like the look queens with a snatched kind of look. So, anyway, uh, this was requested by drumroll Miss Fierce Delicious herself on TikTok. She said to me, <laughs> so I'm doing you. Oh, <laughs> So we're going to be doing this look, so if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of all new stuff I upload. I upload three times to two times a week and also go live on some Mondays. So follow me on social media, all the links are down below. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into this fabulous tutorial. <laughs> So let's get to Miss Fierce Delicious. And as she requested herself, I'm gonna insert the request down here. Well, she sort of said, do me. And ooh, dirty. Although I don't think you would be interested because I'm a basic female, okay? Oh, <laughs> so yeah, so I was very happy she said it because I've been meaning to do her mug for a while and she's like gorgeous. So I'm doing her look. Uh, from my last last look, last episode, the finale look, the blue is beautiful. Anyway, so her eyebrows, she uses her real eyebrows, by the way. I looked it up, I, I studied it, and it looks like she does her eyes first most of the time, and I'm down with it. So we're gonna do the eyebrows first. So her eyebrows are a little lower than mine, actually, and they're kind of very straight and bushy. So I'm gonna start with Anastasia Beverly Hills brow palette. Since I have it, why not use it? It's all powder, so I can remove if I don't like something. I'm gonna go with the darkest color because the eyebrows are literally like black, almost black. So these two. So we got something down on this side. The reason why I have my hair down and not the wig cap. Uh, because I'm copying her TikTok, Instagram real transitions exactly to the T, uh, just because, you know, it's fun and it's real cool. Uh, she did this to Beyonce, alien superstar, and it's like really, really awesome. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm filming TikTok pretty much right now as we're speaking. Uh, so the first shot, she had no makeup on. Second shot, she had like the eyes. Third shot, she had the hips and then the full looks. So it's pretty much like four, one, two, three, four. So it was awesome. All right, so enough talking. I did the Anastasia Beverly Hills base and we're doing, I haven't used this. I haven't used Beauty Bay in a while and I love my Beauty Bay. So I'm using Bright 2 today. It has all the colors in the rainbow and the blues are gorgeous here. So we're gonna be using this, this and the white. So it's called Infinity Swim and Sneakers. Yep, that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna use glitter. So it's uh, relatively simple, like I would say. <laughs> so we're just doing cut crease. Very basic, disconnected. I like the shape. I might use this for my own looks once in a while. So Miss Fierce Delicious, I don't know if she watches YouTube, probably not. But I'm going to tag her on TikTok, see if she notices her own mug. I'm using another small brush, kind of very similar. Uh, it's a flat but fluffy, so I'm going to swim. And I'm using even a bigger brush and we're gonna go to uh, sneakers. So I'm going to use the Beauty Bay White Base, might as well, and a small brush. I rarely show my cut creases. I mean, it's very simple, just basic. Just take a flat brush and paint the line. And in some cases, it's very important to get a very sharp line. In some cases, like right now, I'm messing up a little bit. And it's not important because they're gonna be white line under. She definitely used some kind of white eyeliner. So that's not gonna matter how clean this is now. It's gonna be cleaned up later. This was white eyeshadow, just a little bit here. Now, 
I'm using a flat and a little angled brush. And this kind of thing is good for breast and eyeshadow. I mean, anything will do. But I like the flat one because you can create more sharp angle here. So I'm going to infinity, the first shade. And I'm just plopping it all over here. So her eye, whole eyelid is pretty much set. And then she applied glitter over and some gems. This is right after my heart because I love gems, as you might know. Gems and glitter, I mean, what's better? What's better than gems and glitter all day long? I'm gonna use Perfusion Glitter. Um, I believe this was from Halloween collection a couple of years ago. It's very, very that deep blue, exactly the same color. It sticks without primer, but I want it extra bright, so I'm gonna use liquid glitter to apply it with. It's kind of weird uh, situation going on. Might be not be the proper way to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it. And actually works because the liquid glitter has good base. This is Cara Beauty, and this is in the color Myth. It's really pretty, but it has more violet in it. So I like to use that to uh, just to have better attention. So I primed with my new primer actually from BoxyCharm. This stuff is great. It smells like bananas and it's very dewy. Dewy collagen face primer. I love to do eyes first so I don't get to get all the dust and my eyes all bake. As cute as bake is, I mean, it's not that great. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my, the usual, the one I'm trying to pan. The great one. I have a feeling once I pan it, I'll want another one. This is a Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Foundation. It's full cover. It's dewy. It's beautiful. So this is in a color F10. I'm self tan, so it's gonna be appropriate. For the highlight concealer, I'm using Kim Chi Chic the most. I'm just using medium beige because I was observing her pictures and her looks. And doesn't look like she likes that extra white highlight. At least not in this look. And not in the most recent looks. So looks like her aesthetic was a little bit different before. It was more of a like more arch eyebrows, and I think she blocked them before. And now it seems like she uses her own eyebrows. Alright, let's add a little more white. Just a little bit for extra brightness. Just some areas. Now to counter, I already started on this side. So I'm gonna use Aesthetica palette uh, because her contour is not the most extreme. She's more into like natural uh, look, you know, no harsh lines. That's no, <laughs> that's hey, no tricks in Mattel, okay? Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna use Aesthetica palette and we're going to use the middle shade uh, because this one is just dark enough, but not too like too dark like this. So I'm just gonna use my this is 99 cent only um, stores here. This is the store in uh, on the West Coast, I believe. It doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is, uh, I was asked today what brushes I use on Instagram. And I was asked what brush I use for contour powder. And I'm like, well, I'm using Forma brush for contour, but just because I got it in the boxy charm, no other reason. To be honest, just like I'm gonna tell you, I'm not one of those people gonna tell you guys, oh, you need to use the most expensive brush to get the best results. I think it's complete BS. It might be better quality, but I, I believe you can achieve the same results with a dollar store brush. I see that. It blends just fine. And the only difference is the price point, unless the brush is complete trash, of course. For nose contour, just a smaller brush. Flat fluffy. This is actually cheap elf brush. And we're gonna go for the same color, maybe mixed with this one because again it's not very harsh. None of our lines are very obvious. So we're gonna do this. Her nose is very cute, it's not big, it's not any particular way. So I'm lucky in here too. Light line in the middle. This is the same Kim Chi Chic uh, concealer. 
in medium beige. All right, let's add with kimchi setting powder, the puff puff pass. Still one of my favorites. Unless I'm using Aerospun, <laughs> this is gonna be kimchi. So for the powder contour, I'm using NYX. Um, yeah, it's busted. <laughs> it's been a long time, it's old. Anyway, uh, this is powder contour and I'm gonna use lighter color. Not kimchi because the kimchi contour I have is a little dark and we go going for natural. <laughs> so I'm gonna go between these two, the lighter colors. Maybe darker a little bit on the forehead. Uh, thing is her forehead, like I said, it's very small. So I'm trying to focus mostly on the forehead to make it look smaller. And the rest of the features... Oh yeah, this is the formal brush I was talking about, by the way. That I had no idea what this is. <laughs> Just got a box of charm. It's 103, pretty much. That's it. I don't think they sell them by a single brush. I think this is a part of the set. But like I said, they're all the same, to be honest. You don't have to have this one to create a good counter. Most counter with another fluffy brush and I'm gonna go between these two light colors again. Okay, it's time to do a low lash line. I already did this eye, so I'm gonna use NYX white uh, gel liner. Pretty much anyone will do, any of them. I like to set with the eyeshadow, but you don't have to. Uh, it's not recommended because, you know, eyeshadow on your eyeballs is not a good thing, but I always live dangerously on this channel and I put all kind of SHIT in my eyeballs and I'm still alive, so there you go. Alright, so now we're gonna do the low lash line. Uh, it's very subtle, very small, so I'm gonna use small brush, just an angle brush. It's kind of like eyeliner, eyebrow brush. I'm gonna go back for the darkest blue. And just draw a line. Looks like it's pretty much kind of out straight line. Now I'm using Midas Cosmetics water activated liners. Uh, you see, I painted the white and the black always go fast. So I'm just gonna create the white line here. I'm using Kimchi Effin liner, and this is in the white. And we're gonna do a little here and a little here little streak. I usually do that too. If you put white liner in the waterline, it's just not gonna work, but in a corner to make it brighter, just sure. Okay, now we're going to Bejewel. I have blues. I have just the right color. I'm actually writing low on certain colors, so I think I'm due to buy some gems. So we're gonna put blues and uh, clear, I mean white. So I'm gonna start with the outer corner probably, right? Just put some glue. I mean, this is pretty much a very tedious process, so I'm just gonna show you a couple. And then I'm just gonna go all the way in until I reach the crease. Just pretty much down to here, so I'll be right back. So we're done with the gems and outline a little bit with a blue uh, eyeliner. And that was a profusion blue eyeliner. It's pretty sharp. I sharpened it a little more. And now we got a really sharp blue line. So I'm going to blush with pink from Kimchi Chic Mercedes, but very subtle. Her blush is not like clown blush, so I'm gonna go a little bit, shake it off. Now she's a girl who definitely likes to highlight, so I'm gonna use Kimchi Chic Drama Queen because we want to be extra blinding, the lightest colors pretty much. Ooh, she is blinding for sure. So next, uh, I'm just using the ABH lip liner, and this is in the color Cranberry. I mean, it doesn't matter. The liquid lipstick is covered all anyway. So the upper lip is very particular shape. I mean, a lot of queens, uh, I noticed, like the shape with the pointed uh, edges up. So it kind of makes you look youthful and happy, not like, oh, sad. You know, kind of makes sense. I've been doing that too. So we're using the ABH lipstick, and this is the color Saffron, Saffron. <laughs> Can't read correctly. And for the lip gloss, I'm using... This is actually the Disney collection, uh, Stitch. 
chilling this wet and wild I got in PR for one time I got PR wet and wild all right I think we're ready to get snatched in the wig I don't have the right wig as usual just like with minty drop it is a wig with bejeweled jewels on it whatever you call it a professional style but we have Walmart craft department <laughs> So we're gonna make do and do the best thing you can, you know, the crafty way. So I'll be right back. Oh, and she's here. This is Miss Fierce Delicious. I just had to say that way. I don't know why. <laughs> so this is Miss Fierce Delicious. I'm just feeling myself as usual, the and I'm always feeling my oats. <laughs> so this is the Walmart's craft department and this is the wig it's not really a do wig but you know haphazardly put up together <laughs> it's gonna last just as long as the video is needed and then it's gonna be like oh god down the hill so I'm into blue I really like this I love blue this is actually a craft department I added to my earrings uh, the necklace didn't have any jams I actually glued them on <laughs> <laughs> Everything is like a little bit crafty, but you know, this is my channel. We're the crafty queens here. Oh, <laughs> so what do you think, Hannies? How did I do? <laughs> I, I think I'm, I'm like I'm feeling myself. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Who else would you like me to do next? I uh, had a couple of requests, and I'm thinking like I have a couple of ideas already. And uh, Deja's guy is one of them, and uh, there's some else I'm also thinking about, but not 100% sure. So I have a little bit of ideas at, the point, at this point. So uh, leave me a comment, like this video, and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload two to three times a week, and I also go live on some Mondays. So follow me on social media, all the links are down below, as well as my Patreon group. Thank you so much to all my patrons. Thank you guys for the support. I love you all. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next fabulous video. Haunted Okra. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>